When you think of Philly's rap scene as an outsider looking in, you probably think of names like Meek Mill, Lil Uzi Vert, and that's just if you're the casual rap fan. But the underground drill scene coming out of North Philly is taking over the city and spreading across the country. At the same time, gang ties running throughout the scene is rampant and rising stars are ascending to new heights just to crash out. One of the craziest falls from grace is that of zoo gang artist Lil Bait. He went from performing at the Met and becoming almost a legitimate rap star to crashing out and being accused of hitting up a 16 year old and might face life in prison, man. It's a crazy story. We gotta get into it right now in the war in Philly, man. We've been covering this for a minute, so let's get into this. But before you do, I'm gonna need you to like, comment, subscribe, you know, run up this video, man. Make sure y'all check out the merch too. We got hoodies, tees, everything on deck, man. And I'm gonna need you to join notification gang and tap in and flex that. Make sure you hit the notification bell so whenever I post, y'all are ready to tap in, man. Let's go. Fox 29 sources confirm a local rapper has been arrested in connection with the murder of a 16 year old boy. 20 year old Isir Clark, known as Lil Bape, surrendering to Philadelphia police this week. You may have heard his music on local radio, and he performed at the Met last month. Police say he shot and killed Nafis Batrand Hill on Montgomery Avenue in North Philly back on April 13th. A second suspect, 18-year-old Ranif Allen, is still wanted tonight. Lil Babe is a 20-year-old rapper that was rising out of North Philadelphia, an alleged member of Zoo Gang, one of the craziest groups basically running the city, beefing with a lot of other people, man. But the 20 year old rapper was sort of making a name for himself in the streets and on the charts slowly, you know, grinding it out. He was able to establish and get a record deal with Bling Not Media and that sort of helped his rise and fame. But then it was all sort of cut short when this incident basically went down in North Philadelphia in April, man. The 20 year old rapper has been charged with fatally shooting a 16 year old in North Philly last month and the police are searching for another man they say also played a role in the killing. As Sierra Clark, known as Lil Babe, surrendered to authorities on Tuesday and has been charged with murder, illegal gun possession, and related crimes for his role in the death of Nafis Betrin Hill in North Philly last month, police said. A warrant has been issued for 18-year-old Renif Allen, a friend of Clark's who police say also shot the teen. According to court records, on April 12th, Clark and Allen drove to the 2300 block of West Montgomery Street in a Kia that had been reportedly stolen from Drexel Hill one week earlier. If you don't know, Kias, there's a whole thing going on where Kias are super easy to steal. People are essentially getting those and crashing out. Some people like little kids are stealing those with USB chargers iPhone chargers and stuff basically just going on joy rides while others are getting these cars and committing hits. It was just before 9 p.m. and Bichar and Hill was walking down the sidewalk when two men started shooting at him from the car, court records say. Surveillance video recovered from the scene showed that the men jumped out of the car and chased the teen, firing more than 30 times, the records say. Officers found Bedrin Hill badly wounded, took him to Temple University Hospital, where he died a short term later. Philly police, who responded quickly to the scene of the shooting, saw Ikea fleeing the scene with no lights on, driving in the wrong direction down North Street, according to records. Officers pursued the car but lost it in a brief chase. They found it a short time later abandoned on the 2300 block of Glenwood Avenue and inside there was a Glock 27 handgun the records say. Surveillance footage from the Raymond Rosin public housing complex where the car was found showed two young men wearing identical clothing to the shooting suspects getting out the car the records say. They then took off their sweatshirts which police found discarded inside the courtyard. Police also recovered fingerprints on the car that matched those of Clark and Allen, the records say, and the locations of their phones lined up with the pathway of the getaway car. Damn, man. Clark's lawyer, Robert Gamberg, said Clark maintains his innocence and he looks forward to their day in court. Court records say Clark and Allen were friends and had posted music videos together. Clark was being held without bail at the current form in a correctional facility and has a preliminary hearing scheduled later this month. This isn't the first or last time that Zoo Gang allegedly has been involved in this crazy ass incidents, man. Just last year, the DA Larry Krasner says that indictments were coming out for Zoo Gang 
and a bunch of other gangs basically trying to slow down the crime wave basically going on in Philly. People and other groups who just keep committing violence, mostly with guns. So Pit Boys, Southside Stizzy, Zoo Gang, PNB, Brickyard Mafia, Topsiders, 5th Street, 7th Street, Wilson Park, time is up. Are you going to go to the jail? Where there is a major concern for gun violence being at an all-time high, man. It's a super crazy situation going on out there where it really is a war. This is just the, one of the most notable incidents that went down. But there was previously just another incident a couple days ago with a Bloomberg member, Bloomberg G's, who basically got gunned down in a crazy fashion in broad daylight. And this was allegedly with the ongoing beef and zoo gang allegedly had this whole time that people are saying could be the cause of this but regardless of their beefs with them with flags with a bunch of other philly groups it's an ongoing situation that continues in philly and it doesn't look like there's going to be any type of resolution soon it's really sad to see that this type of stuff goes down and it seems like philly is like a doggy dog mentality it's one of those grimy northeast cities but there's not a lot of opportunity so there's a lot of guns drugs violence and stuff like that because that's really the only thing that you can do to really get out of that situation man it's a normal thing to see philly artists crash out like this and there has to be some type of solution to move better in the right direction but at this time it doesn't really look like there's anything crazy that's going to change because of the, you know these are all young people coming up people aren't really thinking gunning down other young people that aren't really thinking and it's a vicious cycle man it's crazy to see our american cities are turning into this man but you know at the end of the day this rap shit is real man but hey let me know in the comments what y'all think about this whole situation man real say say shit you already know what's going on make sure you like comment subscribe man peace